This video is only an attempt to familiarize the respective users with the various codes and standards rules, requirements, and guidelines. User shall fully read and understand the references wherever made in this video from the licensed or genuine copies and then, only consider the same for specifying, discussing, and or applying wherever required. Dialogues, descriptions and intent of the video are virtuously personal and in no way tend to undermine, modify, replace, substitute the intent, definitions, and descriptions made in the referenced codes and standards. Hello mentor. Hello user. I have a confusion on terms used for examination of weld. Okay. What's that? I want to understand what actually is meant by full examination spot examination and random examination. It's not so confusing. Let me explain it. Full radiography would require that every inch of weld length be radiographed. For a big equipment like towers and tanks, this would mean hundreds of shots and a long process to complete. Though this is tedious but this assures that there are no flaws that will cause a failure later. Understand. This was simple. What about spot examination? Spot radiography on the other hand would mean performing radiography of a percentage, say 1%, of the total weld length, at n number of various spots, particularly critical spots like junctions to get radiography of as significant percentage of total weld length. So does it mean that spot radiography is an aid to quality control and is like a sampling plan where the code does not require a weld to undergo full 100% radiography? Yes it does. Typically if the equipment or piping is very critical then codes, standards, and guidelines would require you to do full radiography. If say it happens to be a water tank, spot radiography is generally good enough. Hence accordingly it means 10% spot radiography is 10% of total weld length combined of all identified locations, while full radiography is 100% of the total weld length. Enough. Yes you have understood it clearly. Then what is random examination? As 100% examination is complete examination of all of a specified kind of item in a designated lot of piping. And spot examination is a specified partial examination of each of a specified kind of item in a designated lot is spot radiography. Similarly, random examination is complete examination of a percentage of a specified kind of item in a designated lot. Okay. Now it's very clear to me. Further, is there any codal requirement of length for spot radiography of longitudinal welds? In this regard I will advise you to refer to your friend RCRSGC. Yeah that would be fine. Thanks mentor. Hello RCRSGC. Hello user. I wanted to know is there any codal requirement of length for spot radiography of longitudinal welds in ASME B31.3? Yes there is and it's covered in PARA 341.5.1 under Chapter 6, Inspection, Examination and Testing. Could you brief me about that? Sure. The requirement is of 300 mm, 1 foot, in each 30 m, 100 feet, of weld for each welder or welding operator. This requirement is for, could you detail a bit? Stated requirement is for spot radiography for longitudinal groove welds required to have a weld joint factor EJ of 0.90 requires examination by radiography in accordance with PARA. 344.5 Thanks a lot RCRSGC. It's my pleasure. But let me remind you that, to understand and apply the stated requirement, you must refer ASME B31.3 Process Piping Code, 2016 edition.
This video is only an attempt to familiarize the respective users with the various codes and standards rules, requirements, and guidelines. User shall fully read and understand the references wherever made in this video from the licensed or genuine copies and then, only consider the same for specifying, discussing, and or applying wherever required. Dialogues, descriptions and intent of the video are virtuously personal and in no way tend to undermine, modify, replace, substitute the intent, definitions, and descriptions made in the referenced codes and standards.